Hello and welcome everyone to um, the Aliens Review, basically. And um, let's just start by saying I've been a massive fan of Aliens since I was a six year old young lad. So what's this about? Can't choose. Uh -huh. Anyway, yes. Um, let's show off some white player footage. And um, yes, yeah, since I was six years old, I've been into Aliens. Massive fan. You feel like have nightmares and shit, but it still didn't stop me loving it. It was absolutely awesome as a young child. But let's just start with this game anyway. Yes, yeah, so I was a bit confused of where the time set was. I, at first, I thought it was set between the second and the third film, but I later found out it's actually set the story between the third film and the fourth, which makes sense really if you played the game. But, um, apart from that, let's start off by saying the um, game is very arcadey, yeah, it's, it's kind of reminds me of uh, Doom Doom 3 when I first played actually. This is like, it's almost like playing the original but with real, a graphics overall, and that's exactly what I felt with this game, almost like. So, I've also always played play pretty much every um, PC title of the Alien franchise and they've all been pretty good and I wouldn't say the story on this is completely shite but it's quite close and um, some of the bits is so cheesy and just another thing that really bothers me is just the fact that the Marines were so wooden and weren't much of a personality which they showed off in the demo gameplay and uh, another thing about that like, demo gameplay was the positions. graphics and that's a massive debate All at the moment is the graphics well done, I don't think they're that bad to be fair but for what they were showing off to us well that is a lot of difference and until you um, basically see the video comparison on YouTube you won't really understand but like stuff like lighting and that dynamic lighting and you know, if a game doesn't have dynamic lighting nowadays, I just find that's really quite cheap and poor because of the fact that, you know, it's not hard to do, especially for a PC game. But anyway, graphics, not the best, but they're, they're okay if you've got a high-end PC. Um, another thing was the AI, of course. Now, AI was really quite shocking in this game because the AI they showed in that Marines gameplay demo from Gearbox was such good and just like the films and what they gave us at the end of the day was just literally not even close to the same it was, it was pretty fucking horrendous um, the only intelligent alien I saw pretty much was the lurkers and they are the only ones that acted, but they even then, sometimes they acted quite fucking stupid. There was a moment, sequence in the campaign with me and a friend. Uh, I think four of them come at you, and you basically got to kill all four. And every single one of them were just standing still. And I was just like, wow. But I, I do say that the previous time we did play that section, um, the AI was better and they did act like aliens. Now, if Gearbox um, did an update and turned all of the aliens AI to the lurker type AI and got it right when it does work, then the game would be, I think, amazing as what they showed in the video. So it's just a simple kind of tweak, obviously, like, wow. I should say simple, but <laughs> but it might be more difficult than said than done. But but yeah, the um, AI is pretty bad. Um, I'd say overall, if you're gonna play the single player game, best to play it in co-op and on the hardest difficulty, with no HUD or anything like immerse yourself in the full experience but me and my friends found that it was still a piece of piss like I'm talking really fucking easy game 
on. There was just only three of us as well on the hardest setting, and there was no challenge whatsoever. So difficulties just practically like no difference almost. Another thing in my player is the uh, spitter is actually quite overpowered. Um, because he's got the spit of ability and his swipes seem to be stronger than everyone else's, but... Anyway, overall I'd say the um, story mode would give about a 2 out of 5, and multiplayer would give like, probably like 3 out of 5. It's an o it's overall, unless you're a fan of the genre, I don't think you'd appreciate the game as much, because Gearbox over and over they said in their interviews you don't have to be a fan to play the game but seriously if you play the game there is so many hints towards the movie Good Aliens job, and the, the genre that I think you'd find yourself very confused unless you watched the film if you're looking for a story. We lost another uh, but apart from that the mod player is fun and I'm not sure if it will stand the test of time or not, but if you love Left 4 Dead, I think you'll really um, enjoy it over Left 4 Dead, to be honest. I think the multiplayer is a lot better than Left 4 Dead. It's like a Left 4 Dead 2.0, basically, but, but overall, my general pin opinion on the whole game is basically just try it. If you're a massive fan of the genre of Aliens films and stuff, then I'll definitely try it out and see what you think. But wait for it to come down in price a bit because well I think the uh, price tag's not the value of money at the moment. So thanks for listening, guys, and uh, leave a comment. And hopefully, I'll make more of these reviews. Okay, take it easy, guys. Peace.